All right, traders, George here, and time for a little bit more insight to auto trading. Some of the things that I shared with you in the room yesterday. Uh, for starters, let me show you gold here. This is basically the same uh, strategy that I put up in the room yesterday. And just to give you a quick insight as to what that strategy is, using the cluster trader auto trade component here, um, I'm at a two lot. Okay, so I've got a 1313 stop and target for contract one and then a 1532 tick for uh, the second contract. I'm not using any filter. I'm at 35s on our black tip and uh, two bars. Okay, this is three hours in the morning. Now gold futures I've got on a 233 tick here. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you in this video about was the difference between gold and some of the other markets. Gold is a more thinly traded uh, instrument uh, with volume about rough numbers about half of what the mini Russell does. So the 233 tick and tick charts help open up the structure if you will. I've got a 233 tick going here for gold. Make sure I've got this right. Yeah I'm going back uh, 25 days here. This is doing pretty well. It's at $1,840, 88 trades, 50% win ratio. It's making a little money on both sides. Okay. Now one of the things that you can do is go into graphs. I love going into these three screens here. First, uh, second from the bottom, the trades, profits, and losses. Here's those static scalpers being hit. Here's the extended trading contract being hit here, the static value. And then these guys here, these are coming either at the end of the trade morning or on a stop and reverse signal. There, 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 okay? Now downstairs, here's all these static stops being taken out and it looks like for the most part they were all taken out where they were supposed to get taken out so here's an area where we could look to improve either push these things up to make them tighter or pull them back and let them work a bit more they could be at just the right spot this happens to be a pretty nice strategy obviously but that's an area that i would look to improve other areas two other ones for distribution i like going into the half hour here and this will break down where all the profits came from uh, based on the strategy so you'll see there's a huge spike here at 7 in the morning Pacific, 9 central. You want to be trading then, right? Then there's a lull for a bit and then a good boost going into Chicago Merck lunch. Pretty interesting. That's what it's been doing for the last 25 days. If I was going to incorporate anything from this into the trading, it might be to reduce the second contract for this period of time here and maybe even not trade this first opening half hour altogether. All right, that's an area that you could look to improve. And then from a place of fear where all the new traders come from, everybody asks about limiting losses. Here's how you want to do it, okay? Most traders will come up with a number that feels right. Here's how you do it. Go to drawdown and look at where you have drawdowns and how significant they are, okay? Now, when they cross a particular threshold, you can then look to kill the trades for the rest of the morning. But what you have to do is see how the rest of the morning worked out because you may have had some winners in there that helped alleviate some of the losses. You don't know that until you investigate it. But I would look to the drawdown window here as a threshold to see if you can adjust uh, your performance. The last component here before I move on to the mini Russell is this strategy here is doing pretty well. Um, 88 trades over 25 days, easy to handle that. Three hours in the morning, 50% win rate, um, profitable on both sides. To get the profit here, we're actually making a lot of money to trump the losers, okay? So the losers are over $6,000 worth. The winners are over $8,000 worth. That's the way the strategy is working out. What you would want to do now is take your level one skills from your DSR trading and the DSR course and apply that to these guys here. Do you want to let this strategy run as it is? Just turn it on in the morning and then let it run itself out? You could. That's what you get. Or if you want to be a trader and use your trading skills, you could look to find where those entries and exits are coming relative to your uh, management chart, the DSR model, and see what you could do to trim these guys down. If you could just trim them down 10, 20%, you'd have quite a boost there in profitability. So that's the attraction to using your level one skills in harmony with the auto trader. Now to take this up a notch, there's not a lot of volume in gold and gold's a relatively skittish market in that it makes quick jerky moves and then sort of uh, flattens out. The mini Russell on the other hand is a market where there's a lot more volume and it's traded more consistently for a longer period of time. So 
With that in mind, let's go check out the mini Russell here. Now, because it's got the volume of the, an equities future, what I like to do is on the mini Russell, I like to look at volume charts. So a 400 volume chart is a real neat thing to look at. Just to give you a comparison, since I'm already here, 233 tick. Not too shabby. This is doing 2,350, 45%, 46% win ratio. But look at the number of trades, okay? And there's nothing on the long side here. The long side is actually in the red. So a couple takeaways. One is you don't need to have a high win percentage to make a lot of money. Uh, maybe not obvious to that many, but that is the case. This is the more talked about number here. That's the most important number followed by this number here. Uh, that's a lot of trades, okay? The other thing is that it's not making any money with this particular setting to the long side. So that might be an area that I'd look to change. So just to give you a comparison, 233 tick in Mini Russell is actually doing more money than it is in gold, but it's not as well balanced and there's a lot more trades. So now I'll just shift this to a 400 volume. This is what I shared with you in the room yesterday. Let me make sure I've got this dialed in right here. So I want to go back 25 days and keep this consistent. I'm on a 400 volume chart. Let's check out where everything happens. This is a killer strategy here. Here's what it's done uh, today. I got a short signal here. Scalper was hit. Trader stopped out. I got a long signal here. Scalper hit. Trader stopped out. Here's another double stop on a long, another double stop on a long, another double stop on a long, and then here's a long that moves in favor. All right. This thing is on fire. Uh, 200 trades, 50% win ratio, but look at the profitability, 6,000 bucks, okay? A lot on the short side, not too shabby on the long side, really hitting it out of the park. So this 400 volume chart pulls the number of trades down and balances things out to make some money on the long side here as well. Now this is a great looking strategy here with this kind of profit. We may not have that much uh, more room to improve it, but I still want to check it out. So I want to go to my profits and losses. Scalpers hit, extended uh, trader hit here, a couple random uh, stop and reverses or end of day exits. That's beautiful. Down here, here's all the losses and then some either stop and reverses or end of day exits. So again, this is an area to look to push the stops up, see if you can get some better performance, maybe limit the losses here. If they're going to be losers, maybe you just get out early. And uh, also look at them with a little bit more room to work. Maybe this is smothering a few of these trades and while some of these might book some bigger losses, a few of them might stay in to hit targets like that. And I love looking at the distribution on the half hour. This, based on what the Mini Russell's done over the last uh, 25 days on this strategy, not doing any any favors by the first hour. Okay, so really all the gains coming in the second uh, two hours of this three hour strategy. That's something else. That's incredible. Then lastly, drawdown. Okay, now this is making a lot more money, but it does have a couple spikes that could be trimmed. So you see price drop below a threshold of interest, then look to pull the plug for the day. Dealer's choice in the zone here for these few occurrences. But back to the summary here, that's a 400 volume chart. Now the mini Russell, it's got more volume than uh, gold and the volume charts helping drive that strategy. It's a combination of our proprietary indicator settings, the type of chart, the period value of the chart, and the time of day. All that comes together to make the strategy. The, the neat thing about it is that it goes into the market without you doing anything. So once the strategy is set, you connect it to your account and it's off and running. So you can't say, wait a second, we're getting long the mini Russell, but I'm afraid of this econ report. Or wait a minute, we're getting short gold, but isn't gold supposed to go up because the Fed's printing money, whatever the story is. So the vapor of the economic news is irrelevant as it always is to price. It's certainly irrelevant to the strategy here. This is taking these signals regardless of anything that's happening with news, even the morning econ reports that can create a little volatility. Mini Russell, uh, the same strategy I shared with you yesterday, uh, just continuing to, to uh, hit it out of the park there. Gold, not too shabby. Uh, but I wanted to give you that comparison there so you could see the volume difference in the markets. Now you can take this another step further and look at the average volume in the morning for both the Mini Russell and gold. And you can see why I was showing gold on the tick charts and the Mini Russell on the volume charts. Uh, you got to love the cluster trader, right? So this is the auto trade component. Once you become a DSR 
course member. Then you can upgrade your capabilities to the auto trade component. This is where most of you move towards uh, for obvious reasons. There's a lot of power not only to being able to see the historical performance, but to have this working for you ongoing. It's a nice way to manage the markets, especially if you don't want to spend as much time staring at the screen, literally hanging on every movement. And for a lot of you, able to put trades on that you would maybe cross check with your emotion. All right. So cluster trader in combination with your DSR training is a great one to punch. If you got a strategy that's not making as much but shows some promise, look to impart your level one skills to help manage those trades. And if you got a killer strategy like that mini Russell uh, strategy, maybe you don't have to do too much at all. It's, it's looking real good there. All right. There's an update for you on some cluster trader performance. And uh, we'll see you back in the live room.